Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. I'm excited about a brand new kit that just came out on the market uh, like a few days ago or a week ago. This is a brand new Schumacher Cougar Laydown stock spec. So brand new kit uh, based off the Cougar Laydown, which is their two wheel drive electric race buggy. Schumacher, if you're not familiar, uh, company in the UK have been around a really long time, like 30 plus years, and uh, basically built some of the nicest race kits uh, available, especially for carpet, astroturf, any sort of high traction surface. So they just released this, the Cougar Laydown, and the stock spec is basically a lightweight version uh, made especially for spec racing, like 17.5 turn motors, uh, like we race here in the United States. So uh, really excited about this, especially since my local track is a carpet um, type surface. So I picked this up from discountrcstore.com. Uh, I threw their sticker here on the box. It does not come normally on it, but um, yeah, Discount RC Store uh, is actually a company I found when I was looking for parts for my Cat L1 Evo. Uh, that's the four wheel drive buggy I picked up and I was looking around trying to figure out where to get parts because not a whole lot of places in the US carry shoe marker parts. A little bit of a smaller brand although they are growing and uh, people just kind of referred me over to discount RC store and it turns out they very much have like the best selection, best prices, um, really fast shipping there in Michigan and comes to me in like two days out here in California. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. And then they have really good service. I had some issues with one of my purchases. Um, we got lost in the mail by the post office and we got it all figured out. Definitely uh, the cheapest and fastest way to get this. It's really hard to get this kit right now. Um, I think most of the other stores actually don't even carry this. It's just came out. So yeah, anyways, let's take a quick look at the box. This is a standard Cougar lay down box, I think. So it doesn't really say anything specific about the stock spec. Um, still shows the aluminum chassis, although I believe it has carbon fiber chassis here in the box. Um, not a whole lot else. K181 is the uh, model number and it comes from the UK. So any other features? It is obviously lay down, versatile platform. They also make a stand up. I think it's called the KD. I don't have it, so let's open up the box. No seals or anything. Comes with wheels, which is really nice. I believe these are just regular associated type uh, wheels. Should be compatible. Oh, full size wheels, interesting, not carpet wheels. Carpet wheels are a little bit smaller, thinner up front. Here we go, bag E, Cougar laydown parts, wheel nuts. Looks like some uh, servo tape or something. Uh, orange shock pistons. I believe these are molded. Aluminum shock, so this looks like all the shock parts, some sort of risers or spacers of some sort. Uh, they do use regular O-rings, uh, though I have found them to be actually pretty smooth. I believe these are Kashima coated shocks, that's what someone told me. Yeah, that are titanium nitride coated. Um, yeah, so it looks like the shock bag, pretty much. Bag E, moving on, what else we got here? Uh, step three, not sure what that is, so let's look on the back. It's like some sort of front bulkhead. Um, arms, what else we got here? Some kind of bearings, steering post it looks like, uh, bell cranks, so it looks like steering system and the whole front end uh, assembly I would assume. Gears, idler gear, so it does come with an aluminum top shaft or lay shaft, it comes with a lockout or slipper eliminator. Uh, I believe these are steel out drives, not 100% sure. Uh, gear differential looks like, plastic uh, gear cover, so it should be a little bit lightweight. Does come with a carbon fiber motor mount, so this is pretty much like a lightweight uh, version. I believe it comes with carbon fiber motor mount, carbon fiber um, gearbox, I believe, like transmission case. We are on uh, step 31, and it looks like maybe inserts for the pills for adjustable uh, toe and anti squat. These are the aluminum hexes, bearings as well. What else we got in here? Not sure what these pieces are. Oh, well, these look like a uh, little adjustable diff height. So, yeah, you should be able to adjust your diff heights for different ride heights, get you different bone angles. So I believe it's a split transmission, easily accessible diff, just like the associated cars um, and rear arms, rear hinge pins, which are steel. These are the drive shafts. So they are steel, I believe. 
Um, yeah, what else is in here? That's about it that I can see easily. Moving on, here's the body, nice looking body. Again, they've got the lightweight body, so a lot of lightweight parts, lightweight body, lightweight transmission case, lightweight uh, chassis as well. Here's the wing. And here's the <laughs> the highlight of the vehicle, the carbon fiber chassis. So super lightweight, little flat uh, pan chassis. Um, looks like here's where the ES or Subaru sits. Uh, yeah, so really cool. Fairly stiff, actually. Not much flex in this thing. Looks like maybe like a two or two and a half millimeter chassis. So yeah, this should get well underweight. Uh, here's the S2 or composite shock tires, sort of like a, I don't know, I'm guessing carbon fiber or Kevlar or fiberglass type composite. Uh, pretty much feels, acts like carbon fiber in my case, or <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, rear shock parts, not sure what this is. Looks like maybe, uh, hmm, it's like a diff case or a, uh, Transmission case, more of the S2 material. Guessing this oh, Allen key spanner looks like maybe. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. S2 or carbon fiber tools. Oh, that's pretty dang cool. Here's all your fluids, shock oils, diff fluids, thread lock. That's pretty cool. Actually, comes with thread lock. Um, and then we're moving on to what is this? More shocks, presumably front or rear. Looks like the side chassis braces here. Uh, bearings, hexes, wheel hexes. Uh, so probably like the whole rear end. Here's a little shock cups there. Shock shafts, turnbuckles. So this is either the front end or the rear end. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking parts. So materials here, here's the little, this is a little add-on sheet to tell you about the difference between the stock spec class. So carbon fiber uh, transmission case, uh, aluminum cut down top shaft, carbon fiber motor mount, uh, tell you use a little axle grease. I'm not sure what the pinion size or it's the spur gear size is. I think it's like 70, it looks like it says 71 tooth. So hopefully that's suitable for like a 17.5 motor. And then yeah, it shows you all the weight, all the parts. So lightweight body, I guess a lightweight uh, spur gear, lockout or slipper eliminator, carbon fiber chassis. Yeah, so pretty cool little um, kit. Got the full manual, which is pretty similar to the Cat One Evo manual. Um, a lot of little tuning uh, tips and suggestions, all the optional parts. So I'll probably pick up a few things like springs and stuff, tires, t-shirts, and then a um, little tire guide as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's pretty much the Cougar Laydown um, stock spec. I'm uh, pretty excited about this. I also owned a team associated uh, B6.2 and uh, have been slowly converting all my vehicles over to carpet cars because uh, my local track pretty much used to be a dirt indoor clay high traction type surface that you would run lay down and certainly I think you could run this on high traction slick type uh, surfaces or super high traction surfaces but um, yeah the lightweight stuff I think we'll probably get this under 1500 grams because most vehicles nowadays uh, 1500 grams is pretty easy to get, especially with lightweight parts like this, no slipper. Uh, the carbon fiber chassis gotta drop like, I would imagine 20, 30 grams off an aluminum chassis. So that's gonna help a lot. And so yeah, I'm pretty excited about picking this up. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cougar Laydown stock spec, the brand new latest kit from Schumacher uh, RacingCars.com, and uh, yeah, so we'll do a build video and then obviously run it and uh, eventually do a full review of this vehicle. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the add notifications button. Look for more videos soon, and thanks for watching.